Thank you, Mark. Yeah. Welcome. It's a little high. Can you see me now? I'll sit up tall. Obviously, several new additions tonight. Um, really no practice time to work them in. Just is it a process of just trying to get guys acclimated um, using shoot arounds and games at this point? Yeah, you do it, you know, whatever you can. And I've had uh, some experience in that area with uh, in the minor leagues. Players can come and go a little bit. And certainly in Memphis, we had a bunch of uh, injuries and uh, 10 day guys and season ending injuries. And, and we ended up with 28 players that year in a uniform. And so um, you know, try to try to help them as much as possible in whichever way that they learn the best. Be it that video or walking them through stuff, or uh, on the board or on paper or whatever it takes. And uh, it's just going to take a little while. It's going to take me a little while uh, to find different groups that can play together. It's going to take them a while to find out uh, who plays, where a guy likes the ball, where you can help from. Do you need to help as much with this guy or that guy? All those kinds of things just take time. Uh, Corey Brewer being added on the 10-day contract. Do you? see him being able to make an impact uh, immediately? And, and if so, would that be more or so on the defensive side? Uh, I don't think he'll be in the rotation at this point. Um, but you know, things change. Um, you know, we have some depth uh, at the shooting guard position. And, and uh, you know, he can play small forward. And I think sometimes he's probably played power forward in stretch situations as well. So he's got a lot of experience, a guy that I really like and have liked for a long time. I know you don't like to give your starting lineups, but uh, Harrison Barnes, do you think he's starting day one, or are you going to have to wait a little while and let him get acclimated? That's a great question. <laughs> just we, this first time we've been able to talk to you about the trade. Just what, what did you think of uh, just some of these additions that you've made? Um, you know, I like um, I like our core. Um, you know, I think Harrison Barnes is a guy that whether it's public or not. I tried to trade for a hundred times. I goaded my management in Memphis. I thought he'd been perfect for us. You know, can can play three, then when you want to size down and, and he can play four. Uh, I thought he would have been a you know a great compliment there. Uh, they obviously knew what they had in Golden State were not letting him go. Um, so he's, he's a guy that I've always appreciated his game from from a distance and the same thing with Alec. A uh, versatile guy can get to the basket, uh, can take a hit and still finish at the rim. Um, and again, he's got some size and certainly got some experience. I think both guys are excited. Um, not just their recent, but any player that you have is always excited about and a possibility of playing in the playoffs. And uh, both are really good, high character guys. And I think they're going to fit in very well. Particularly with those two, Alec and, and Harrison, two veterans that come in in the midst of a playoff push. And they obviously, as could be expected, talked about that earlier this morning. How nice of an addition can that be for you guys in the position that you are? Definitely, yeah. It's um, you know, my my struggle will be where you rank our players. Like, if you're gonna say that that where you prioritize Fox, Heald, uh, Bogdanovich, where you rank all those players, if you say, well, where do, then where do the fours and fives rank? So maybe that's how you determine who should play and should he play Harrison, should he play four, should he play three? If Alec you know, finds a rhythm with us. How do you manipulate it so that those are the guys that you get on the floor a higher percentage of the time than some others? And, you know, I like what we've done this season. I love the growth that we've seen and uh, all of our, our young guys. And, and uh, it's just going to take a minute to, to figure out. And certain nights uh, it can be different guys. And, you know, what we talked about with the team is, I don't know exactly the number, I guess I didn't look, 30 games or whatever left. You know, you might play six minutes, you might play 16, you might play 36. And it might change from tonight to Sunday to might play with a different group. It doesn't matter. Play your minutes as hard as you can. We've got a great team atmosphere and a great culture in our locker room. And uh, just have that altruistic view of what can I do to help, how can I help the team, and no matter what role that is. It sounds like you like Harrison's game and have for some time. Um, is there a difference in how he would have um, – well, that's not the question. You thought he would have been a good fit for you um, in Memphis. Um, obviously, it's a different style of play here than, than what you were doing there. Does he, does he fit this kind of a system as well? He's a good fit for me. How so? I don't like him. <laughs> Can you elaborate on that, how you, what you like about his game, how you think he works? Uh, yeah, he's a versatile player. Um, you know, he's a little bit of an ISO player. Uh, he's improved his uh, jump shot uh, on the perimeter. A uh, heck of a, a quality guy. I think he'll pick up stuff quick. I can move him around and play chess a little bit with him um, and finding matchups and doing different things offensively. Uh, but we're also, you know, we're not sitting there at the four seed. 
um, where you can take and, and find yourself over the course of 21 days, and we're not at the 12th seed where it maybe doesn't matter as much. We're like right in the in the in the cooker, so uh, we just go out and, and try not to put any pressure on our guys. Go and play fast as we can, uh, play aggressive, play an attack mindset. If you're open, shoot it. If you're not, move it on. If you don't, if you're closed out, drive that sucker and get in the paint. But let's really get out and run and, and try to keep the game as simple as possible. And in terms of the style of play, is it is it easier to integrate? Um, new pieces when you play fast and up tempo, um, as opposed to more half court sets where it maybe relies more on the terminology and, and the play calling. Uh, no, it depends on on who you are, what your what your role is. If your role is to come in and be the fourth best player on the team, then it, as a complimentary guy, it's easier to to catch up and, and get into that. Uh, that's more of what it's dependent upon. Or if you're coming into a situation where you're you know one of the top two players on the team, that uh, it's just going to take a while. Coach, understandably, a lot of different emotions bouncing around on Wednesday. Coming into this one, could you get a feel for where the guys' heads are at at shoot around? Uh, well, there's just a lot of newness to it, so it's gonna, you know, it's a. Uh, that's why I want to be uh, the aggressive attacking mindset. We're playing a team that's a hard driving, hard playing, uh, physical team, and whether it be them or anybody else, I think if you if you have an attack mindset. Uh, uh, aggressive mindset and not worry about how can I help this guy get in the right place to run the perfect play. We're not we're not going to be able to tonight anyway. So um, the idea of just go play free and focused and, and real locked in and um, you know as time goes we're able to get more stuff scheme wise defensively offensively roles where we're trying to look and get different plays uh, just takes time. Coach, just curious, have you ever gone to the airport to greet a player before? I've picked up many players at the airport, yes. In the NBA ranks? Yes, sir. Thank you. Huh? Oh, I did not know that. Thank you. I wonder, um, no, I, I guess I just have always respected him the way that he carries himself as a competitor. He goes out and competes. Um, he always wants to make a play to help his team win. And, you know, I think he's, he's done it to us defensively. Um, he, he's always been a steals guy, an anticipator, and a terrific athlete. Uh, loves to have the ball in his hands at the end of games. And, and those kinds of things I think that people remember. But I'll just more so remember him always checking into games and be as us with him a little bit and, and asking about his kids uh, and what a classy guy I, I think he really is.